uh, to get ready to play in your first time? Uh, for the, the preparation that we do this week is going to lead up to the game, so time to prepare, watch film, and just be ready to play ball. Looking at your last couple of weeks, man, I mean, just the, the, the productivity. I, I, I know there's been a lot of talk of, you know, you guys kind of look at what the defense gives you and, and maybe it's been giving you more looks, but was there a moment or, or a, a switch that you feel like kind of flipped for you these last couple of weeks or was it just the way that, you know, the defense was setting you up and giving you opportunities? Uh, really, the uh, scout team in practice, they were giving us great looks all week in practice and the looks they gave us in practice was the uh, looks we got in the game. So I get shots to the scout team. Uh, um, it was just the, my, the amount of opportunities I get. Every, I mean, the best every opportunity I get. So that's uh, that's really what it is. Going to high school in this state, growing up in the South, what does this game mean to you? And uh, how excited are you to kind of make your imprint on this game for the first time? Yeah, the past uh, two years I've been um, I've been able to go to Iron Bowl and I've been seeing the, the electrifying atmosphere, the way the crowds are engaged with the game, the, way, the intensity of the game, speed of the game. Uh, it's really a great opportunity, uh, a great experience I'm looking forward to. Uh, being able to play my first Iron Bowl. Do you have any member? Like, what's your most memorable Iron Bowl moment besides maybe the kick six, or is the kick six the one that you know resonates in your head? Probably the uh, twenty. Was it, I think it was last year. That actually was last year. The uh, wait, I don't. Know, I forgot who called it in the corner. But it was like the last play of the game, and it was the last play of the game. Jalen Murrow just threw it up. And he called it in the back of the end zone. And that's the one that uh, resonated with me. Resonated with me the most. Mm -hmm. When you look at Alabama secondary, maybe what do you see from those guys and how could they possibly be a challenge for you to, um, to kind of go in into the game plan this week? Uh, really, everybody's a challenge every week, uh, but I prepare throughout the week, off season. Um, so I'm going to rely on my alignment, alignment assignment fundamentals and it's going to be a good matchup between us and me, Dre, uh, Malcolm. It's going to be a good matchup for all of us this week. Are you and, uh, you and Red talk this week? No, no, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't start talking trash already yet. <laughs> my, I don't really talk trash though, so it's just. I look like y'all talk at all, or probably just wait. Well, I mean, we'll talk, but like, it ain't nothing like that though. It was just be like, uh, looking forward to, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get you. And we we'll, we'll didn't really talk trash in high school, so like, we we'll would just ready to play ball. I let my game do the talking. You and Ryan Williams are two of the best young receivers in this conference. You guys have kind of been compared and contrasted. First opportunity to share the field with him. Um, do you have a relationship with him, and have you have you been able to watch him? And you guys are in communication. Uh, I mean, we we talk here and there, not not really. We don't really talk for real, but um, I mean, some we, we some young guys doing it in the in the SEC, and we're just gonna be keep being consistent with our game. And he's a good player. I'm a good player. I'm looking forward to also for the matchup this week. I'm interested. Your uh, memory you brought up here is a tough one for a lot of the guys in the locker room. What's been the conversation of getting one back here in Tuscaloosa for? Those guys that faced that last year, how excited you have to uh, Really, a, <clears throat> a revenge tour. We're going in their place, like last. We're going in their place, and we're gonna, uh, and we're just gonna really just go go in there, go in the crib, and just take over, have fun while we're doing it. It's um, some of the um, last memories that we make with each other, so it's gonna make it a memorable game, mem a memorable game. Cam, how big was this past Saturday for confidence of just finishing a game? Uh, it was it was good. It was a good experience actually because um. It was definitely a confidence booster, but it was a good experience overall because, like, four overtime, that's going down in history right there. Like, uh, like people talk about, like, the kick six, the uh, the um, the miracle in Jordan Hare, but it's just, it, that's, like, going to be one of them that um, that's added to the list, so it's really been a good part, a good part of my experience. Cam, uh, Coach Freeze mentioned that um, he feels like receivers are, are understanding the game more, understanding the offense more. What do you think he means by that? Uh, we'll probably we're gonna talk in this. We're gonna talk in probably about an hour. What he means by that, but um, really just understanding coverages, running the routes based off the defense, the DB's leverage, on um, the safety's leverage, and really just understanding coverages. You feel like y'all are getting better as the season goes on. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir, I do. Keandre Lambert Smith is just a mentor and is a leader in that room. What, what has he meant for you and the rest of these young receivers in that that wide receivers room? Um, really because um, he he's been in the game longer than us and he knows like he knows what to expect and like we're just we're just seeing him for the first time so we'll, he he'll tell us like you know what I'm saying certain things to do get like certain you know what I'm saying certain leverages certain um, coverages and really just like little little tricks to get us open and stuff like that. Last time you were in Bryant Denny, you won a state championship in a pretty good game. Um, what's it like going into that stadium, that environment? Obviously, it'll be a full crowd this time, but from your visits there and watching games there, what's it like going into Bryant Denny Stadium? Uh, going, going, going into Bryant Denny, it's just, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's a stadium. It's a good, good atmosphere, good crowd. You know what I'm saying? They, the fans are going to be engaged, but 
Um, we just really got lock in because I know it's going to be loud, but um, we just got lock in. Um, dude, we've been practicing the whole year. Dude, have a good week of practice and really just go in there and execute and have fun. Cam, you with the conference freshman of the week, you know, how does being nationally recognized, you know, set up for such a good week, you know, with the Iron Bowl? Yeah, um, really just, I don't really look at it for real. I just, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's in the past. It's time to look forward. We just, I can't really, I can't, I can't really keep looking at the past. I just got to keep moving forward each week, getting better from my mistakes from last week. And really just, it's a great accomplishment, but you got to keep working. Kind of going off that, you're really clicking at this point in the season. You're finding that stride. What's changed for you from the start of the year until now? Uh, really, just um, the engagement in the game. Like, I feel like I'm getting, uh, I'm getting engaged. I mean, getting engaged, engaged in the game a little bit more throughout the game. So, it really just feels, uh, feels a little bit better. Feels good. You have the first half like you did, and then the second half comes out. Can you feel they're focusing more on you? Can you sense the attention? Uh, I can just, I can a little bit. Um, I can a little bit. How do you combat that, knowing that you're going to see safety help on the top? Sometimes you're doubled. Does, does that just feel like you're bringing up another teammate, or do you still feel like you can make plays with two guys on you? No, nah, um, really, if they double team me, then we got two, three other receivers, two, three other receivers on the field that can make a play as well. If you double team Dre, then that will leave a one on one opportunity for me. If you double team me, it will leave a one on one opportunity for uh, Dre. If you double team me and Dre, then Malcolm is going to come bucking up the middle somewhere, <laughs> speedster, you know, and he's going to find a way to make a play. But it's really just. Really, we got receivers all over the field that can make a play at any time, at any given moment, at any time. All right, thank you, y'all. Thank you.